Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I want to talk about saving the seeds from your garden. Now why should you save your seeds? Well not only can you save money by not having to purchase so many seeds, but during an emergency, if seeds become unavailable for any reason, then you will need to save your seeds in order to plant your next crop. This is my lettuce garden. Lettuce is a cool weather crop, so I can only grow lettuce in this box during cool weather. It is beginning to get hot. It's now uh, uh, June, and so I've pushed it about as far as I can push it. Uh, but this demonstrates how much lettuce you can grow in just like a two foot square box. Now, I have been collecting lettuce from this box for about two or three months. I mean, this is not all. I've been, I've been thinning this out for months and uh, this two by two box has actually provided us with all the lettuce that we could eat. We've even given much of it away to our neighbors. Uh, but this has produced all the lettuce we could eat for about two or three months. It just illustrates how much you can grow in just a, a small spot. So if you don't have room to grow a large garden, if you can just make a box like this, you can grow an amazing amount of food. This right here is a plum tree. I just planted that. It's a brand new uh, plum tree, so I'm going to be growing a tree in this box. So I'm going to have to harvest all of this lettuce now because it's just getting too hot and um, and the wet lettuce is beginning to wilt. If you notice right here, it's be beginning to seed. So I'll, let, I'll leave a, one of these plants in here and let it go to seed and save the seed. Over here at another flower pot, you'll see spinach. And what I've done is these are spinach plants that I allowed to remain here so that they could go to seed. And you see I have all these little seed pods in here. So what you do is you just allow the plant to continue growing, allow it to flower. See here are the flowers on my lettuce plant and then first come the flowers and then come the seeds. Over here <clears throat> over here I have believe it or not this is spinach. It's a spinach that to continue growing and allow it to go to seed and you can see the little seeds on there. There mixed in with a lot of trash is the little spinach seeds. Now it's important to know how to store your seeds. The best way to store them is to allow them to dry in the sun and then refrigerate them. You want to keep them dry and keep them cool. You don't have to refrigerate them, but you want to keep them in a cool, dark, dry place. Now you can freeze your seeds, but if you freeze them, you have to make sure that they are completely dried because water expands water expands when it freezes and if there's any moisture in the seed it will expand and it will split the seed or it will it will ruin it so if you do plan to freeze your seeds you need to put them out in the sun and let them become thoroughly dry and to be on the safe side you might just want to dry your seeds in the sun and keep them in the refrigerator and they'll keep for several years in the refrigerator they will keep longer in the freezer. Now, of course, to save your seeds, you want to save non-hybrid varieties 
a hybrid variety will not produce this seed that's true to the plant so you want to make sure you have non-hybrid and of course non-GMO no genetically modified junk and non-hybrid some people call them heirloom seeds and heirloom seeds produce seeds that are true to the plant each year here are my bib lettuce plants they're still flowering but some have gone to seed if you notice right here these little puff balls are the seeds There are the seeds right there. And I'll leave these in the sun to let them completely dry out before I store them away in an airtight container for next season's lettuce plants. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be pleased.